Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem of the day that is wave array. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given a shorted array ARR of distinct integers. So we are basically given an array which is shorted. It is not defined. So it is shorted in ascending order and all the elements of the array are distinct. Short the array into a wave like array in place. So what does it say? We need to short the array in a wave like array. Its definition is given later and in place means we do not use an extra auxiliary array. Okay, In place of that array only we uh, short it in the wave like array. In other words, arrange the elements into a sequence such that the first element is greater than or equal to second element, but it is less than or equal to third element, it is greater than or equal to fourth element, it is less than or equal to fifth element and so on. Okay. If there are multiple solutions, find the lexicographically smallest one. Okay. Note the given array is shorted in ascending order and you do not need to return anything to make the changes in the original array itself. So we do not need to return anything from the function. We just need to make the changes in the original array itself. Okay. And make it in the form of a wave uh, wave like form. So if we look at this input, so we are given a shorted array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, this is a wave like form 2, 1, 4, 3, 5. So 2 is greater than or equal to 1, 1 is less than or equal to 4, 4 is greater than or equal to 3 and 3 is less than or equal to 5. Okay. If we look at the second example, again they have done in a wave like format, you can check it. The task is to complete the function convert to wave which converts the given array to a wave array. Expected time complexity is big O of n and expected auxiliary space is big O of 1 and the constraints are given here. So now if you think about solving this problem then first of all also let us understand why it is called wave like array. So the condition which should hold true in the final array is first element must be greater than or equal to the second element which must be less than or equal to third element which must be greater than or equal to fourth element which must be less than or equal to fifth element and so on. So basically suppose this is the first element then the second element should be less than or equal to this. So it would be somewhere here. Now the third element should be greater than the second element. So it would be somewhere here fourth element should be less than that. So it would be somewhere here fifth element is greater than that. So it would be somewhere here now sixth element would be less than fifth element. So it would be somewhere here and it would be like a wave. Okay. So that's why it is called short in the wave like form. Okay. Now here it is also said that we need there can be multiple possible answers and we need to short that array in the wave like form in the lexicographically minimum order. Now, how do we compare the lexicographical order of two arrays of, or of two arrangements? Suppose I have an array 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and the another possible combination is 1, 2, 4 and 3. So, which is lexicographically smaller? The first one. How do we compare it? We start moving from the 0th index and go towards the right side and whenever we see the mismatching character, the first mismatching character, we compare them. Here it is a smaller, this is the first mismatching index and 3 is smaller than 4. So this is lexicographically smaller than this, okay, irrespective of what the order of the elements are there afterwards. So move from left to right and whenever we get the first mismatching index, compare them, whichever element, uh, whichever array has smaller element that is lexicographically smaller, okay. Now we want to arrange this uh, in the lexicographically small, uh, smallest order and also in wave like form, okay. So let us take a simple example. Suppose our array has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So since I want to arrange it in the lexicographically smallest order, so the starting element should be as small as possible. That is the definition of lexicographical smaller element. If we compare the two arrays, the first mismatching, the, this one is smaller. So that is lexicographically smaller. So from the starting index, we will place the elements as small as possible, right? So let us place one. Okay. But now first element should be greater than or equal to second element, right? And one is the smallest element. So now there is no element which I can place which is smaller than one. All the elements are distinct. So this is not possible. So let us take two. Like we need to take as small as possible. If one is not possible, let us take two. If two is not possible, let us take three. If three is not possible, let us take four and so on. So let us take two. Now the second element should be less than equal to uh, the first element. So there is only one possible element 1. Okay, so we have placed 2 and 1. Now the next smallest element is 3. So let us place it. Okay, okay, this condition is true. A2 must be less than equal to A3. 1 is less than 3. But now I need an element which is less than A3. Which is, so here this element should also be less than this. 
so 3 1 is less than 3 but on the right hand side also i want an element which is less than 3 but both the elements which are less than 3 are on the left hand side so there is no element which i can place here from 4 5 6 7 which is less than 3 so it means that i cannot place 3 here the 2 and 1 is okay in its place but i cannot place 3 here so what is the next possibility take 4 so it would be 2 1 4 okay now uh, 2 is greater than 1 1 is less than 4 now i need an element which is uh, less than equal to 4 yes i have one element which 3 okay now i want an element which is greater than equal to 3 so what is the lexicographically smallest element possible 5 so let us take it now i want an element which is less than 5 right but that there does not exist any element from 6 and 7 which is less than 5 so it means that 5 cannot be placed here so what is the next possible element 6 so 2 1 4 3 6 now i want so 2 is greater than 1 1 is less than 4 4 is greater than 3 3 is less than 6 now there should be an element which is less than 6 and only one element is possible 1 2 3 4 are here so i can only place 5 here and the remaining element is 7 can we get a waveform this is 2 now 1 is less than 2 4 is greater than 1 3 is less than 4 6 is greater than 3 5 is less than 6 and 7 is greater than 5 we have got a waveform right if we observe the pattern what it is 2 1 4 3 6 5 and 7 so what it basically doing is if we look at the shorted array so shorted array would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so it is basically interchanging these two elements this became 2 1 this became 4 3 this became 6 5 and 7 remained as it is so basically what we will do in the input they have given a shorted array so we will interchange two two elements until possible here seventh element was we were not able to interchange so we will not touch it if we look at this example convert it very quickly so it is five three interchange the first two elements interchange seven and eight interchange 12 and 14 interchange 18 and 21 so this is wave like format five three is less than five eight is greater than three seven is less than eight 14 is greater than seven 12 is less than 14 21 is greater than 12 and 18 is less than 21 so it is a wave like format so basically what we will do we are given a shorted array we will uh, two adjacent elements uh, we will uh, interchange them so zero and one index element we will interchange we will interchange second index and third index we will interchange fourth index and fifth index until possible here we had even number of elements so we were able to make we were able to interchange all the elements here we had odd number of elements so we interchanged the first three pairs and the last element we kept as it is okay so now let's look at its actual code so now if you look at the actual implementation so i have taken a variable i and what i have done starting from i equals to 1 and i less than n every time i have incremented the index value with 2 and swept array of i with array of i minus 1 so first of all i will be 1 and swept with 0 then i will become 3 and swept with second index then i will become 5 and swept with fourth index and so on okay that is what we needed to do what would be the time complexity time complexity would be big o of n because one for loop is used what is the auxiliary space the auxiliary space here is constant because we have used only one variable i to traverse okay and it is also in place uh, in place process why because we have processed this array in place only we have not taken a new array to process this okay so this is the time complexity and this is the auxiliary space now let's submit this code so let's submit it So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution completely. Thank you.